Sarah. Thanks for coming. It was good to talk to you earlier <laughs> during um, Phoebe's live stream. I hope you all are having a fantastic, fantastic Saturday and that you're excited as I am to look at the Bluebird Lacquer Advent Calendar for this holiday season. I am so pumped. <laughs> <laughs> um, I think the calendar came in maybe like Tuesday and it has taken every bit of willpower I have in me not to just like rip it open and look at everything like, oh goodness, so exciting, so exciting. So I'm excited to get to unbox it with you. Hey, Lucy. Welcome, Nicole. Glad you're here. Hey, Heather. Welcome, Exo Make Me Horolo. <laughs> Hey, Cammie. Glad you're here. All right. So before we get into the unboxing, because like I said, I'm just so excited. <laughs> I'm having a hard time, like not just ah, taking it all out right now. Um, I will give you some details about the release of this box um, and then we'll get into it. Welcome, Anna. Hey, Alien Invited. Um, so this is the advent calendar for holiday 2021 for bluebird lacquer it's an annual release and this year it releases on black friday november 26th at 5 p.m eastern time so you want to make sure you set your alarms mark your calendars and i think i should have that date in the description box as well um so the box will retail for 65 dollars um, if you just want the polishes, um, and if you are purchasing in the U.S., that's $65 shipped. And if you want the full advent calendar with all of the wonderful Bath & Body products included, then that will be $85 shipped in the U.S. If you're ordering from Canada, it is going to be $12 flat rate um, shipping. And Lucy apologizes that shipping prices have unfortunately increased, um, but $12 flat rate shipping, not, not too bad, um, in my opinion. Um, so the box, the full box, the $85 advent box with everything in it has eight polished items and four bath and body products. Um, so again, $65 for just the eight polishes. If you want the eight polishes and the four bath and body products, then you're going to want to get the full advent for $85. Hey, Ramona, glad you're here. Um, so the advents are going to ship out on December 3rd. You can combine multiple orders, which is awesome because she's going to have some other releases that same day. Um, it is capped. Dun, dun, dun. I know. <laughs> it's capped. There are going to be 100 full advent boxes available and 70 polish only sets. So if you like what you see today, mark your calendars. Mark your calendars. You're not going to want to miss out. Um, so I actually am lacking one bath and body product and one polish to share with you today because he likes a little bit of surprise. So we'll get to take a look at most things today, but I will have um, be missing one bath and body and one polish product. That will just be a surprise when you get your box, which is so exciting. Um, and then also releasing on that Friday, which I'm so excited for, are the November and December Bird of the Month polishes. And I pretty much get the Bird of the Month polishes. I pretty much order them every year or every year, every month, because <laughs> um, they're always just so fun and super pretty. And then there's also going to be a Black Friday limited edition hollow, which I'm super psyched for because I love bluebird lacquer hollows. I'm sure you do too. You're here, aren't you? <laughs> welcome, Kate. Welcome, welcome. Um, so if you guys have any questions about the release, other than that, like I said, I put all of that information in the description box for you. Um, but if you have any additional questions, Lucy is here, although um, she's multitasking. I think she's at some kind of fun painting thing. Her birthday is next week. Happy birthday, Lucy. Um, so she's kind of multitasking, hanging out with us and celebrating her birthday. Um, but if you have any questions, pop them in the chat and I will do my best to help you out. All right. Are you ready? Drum roll, please. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so ready. Um, so first of all, before we get into the contents of the box, I thought I had to show you the packaging. How cute. They have a little blue bird <laughs> bath and body um, 
tape on the box, which just made me even more excited to get it. Um, and by the way, the packaging for the items that I share with you today um, will be a little bit different than the packaging you actually receive. What happened before with the advent? Let me see. I think I have a, of course. <laughs> have one here. Um, all of mine are probably going to have the standard Bluebird Lacquer logo, but what happened with the Halloween Advent is the polishes had the cute special Halloween Advent logo. So I bet, maybe, no promises because I don't know, and I'm sure Lucy isn't going to tell us because she likes a good surprise, <laughs> um, but more than likely your items will have this cute special packaging, um, which is exciting too, I think. I love the logo too, Cami. So, so cute. Love it. Welcome, Moxie. Glad you're here. Welcome, Felisa. I wish you could see what you painted, Blue, uh, Lucy. I'd love to see it. Yeah, we're opening it right now. <laughs> um, so it comes really well packaged. I'm trying to think, how can I show you? It has lots of this little paper on top to keep everything safe. And it was packed really tightly, which was awesome. Very snug and secure. All right, so they're labeled one through whatever the last number is. So here's item number one. We've got some really adorable festive snowflake packaging. Um, Lucy did say that the items in the box were inspired by this season, um, specifically inspired by changing colors, winter nights and winter days, lights and snow. Um, so I think that's really reflected in this beautiful, beautiful packaging. Uh-oh. A little bit blurry. Okay, let me see what I can do about that. Um, so this is the whole box. I will have some um, Bath and Body products to show you as well, but not all of them. It's missing one Bath and Body product and one polish. Um, that will just be a surprise when you get yours. So here is item number one. Okay, hopefully it'll resolve in a second, you all. I turned off my Wi-Fi, and sometimes that makes it better. Sometimes it does not make it better. So thanks for being patient and flexible with me. Hopefully it'll get itself sorted out soon. Ooh, <gasps> I'm excited. Check it out, you all. Check it out. Oh, my goodness. I'm so excited. It's got the specialty logo. <laughs> Oh my gosh. Okay. I got to open it. I got to stop just gawking. <laughs> oh, good. Okay. Glad it's getting better. Welcome, Grace. Oh my goodness. Look, you all. You all. Let me zoom you in. Look at this one. So cute. So the logo, first of all, I'm just like, just so excited about the logo. But the polish is also incredibly beautiful. It's called I'm Elf Tot. <laughs> <laughs> um, and I would describe it as like a cranberry base with a ton of incredibly flashy linear holographic. And I don't know that it has maybe like a metallic shimmer in it. It's got a really, really strong reflection. You can see it in there. Oh my gosh, this is so pretty <laughs> and so perfect for the holiday. All right. We've got to swatch it. So I'm going to swatch them for you on my nails so we can see how they apply. Oh, I love Bluebird's Hollows. And what a perfect item to be item number one. All right. Are you guys ready for this? Boom. Look at that opacity. <laughs> and I knew it would be that good. Bluebird Lacquer does not mess around when it comes to hollows. Look at that, you all. That is a one coater. <laughs> Holy cannoli. Got a little fuzzy. Look at that. I'm melting. <laughs> I am in heaven. So pretty. Oh my gosh. I'm so excited. <laughs> oh gosh. And all of these go right from um, this video to my seasonal rack because I have to wear all of them. But this one specifically is gorgeous. And I feel like it's not too warm. Um, or too pink leaning. It's like a, a kind of cranberry shade that's going to flatter lots of different skin tones. 
Russet Cranberry Hollow. I love that. Yes, that's perfect. Gosh, that's gorgeous. So that is one coat of I'm Elf Tot. <laughs> like self taught. Gosh, look how gorgeous. I'm obsessed. <sighs> okay. I just could harp on that one forever, but we'll keep going. <laughs> All right. So the next item, item number two. Ooh, this one is not a polish. Look at that fun packaging. And I think the little tissue paper says, fa la 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 la. Love it. And I love about this too is you can reuse the packaging for your gift giving. So here's item number two. Yes, Cami, just perfect formula. So gorgeous. I agree. Oh, I should have guessed what this was. Oh, ooh, my goodness. Yay. So this is the No More Uglicles Cuticle Balm in the scent Pumpkin Eggnog. Oh my goodness. I have to smell this. Yes, there is a cap on the box, Heidi. If you want the full full uh, box with the uh, nail care items and the polishes, it's capped at 100. And then if you want just the polish box, it's capped at 70. All right, so let me smell this eggnog. And also the packaging, again, so cute. So cute and festive and just like... Oh my goodness, you all. <sighs> that smells fantastic. Oh, so good. Definitely smell the pumpkin. It's like a little bit spicy. It's got some cinnamon in there and some nutmeg. And I smell the pumpkin and the eggnog is there, but it's not too sweet. Oh gosh, I get nervous about stuff that's scented like eggnog because I just, I'm one of those people where if smells are too sweet, I get a little bit of a headache and this is not that. It's perfect. All right, let me put a little bit of this on so you can see. Ooh, I've used this before, but I'm always so impressed when I use it again. It just melts into the skin so beautifully. It's got like kind of a balmy texture to it. And it's very moisturizing. It's got some great ingredients as well. It's got shea butter, or sorry, just shea, apricot oil, cocoa butter, and then fragrance. And it's 100% organic and cruelty-free. And I love, too, that it feels very moisturizing, but it doesn't leave a super shiny finish on your nails. Because sometimes I don't want to look super, like it does not feel greasy. It sinks right in. <sighs> so that's item number two. Remember, if you want items like this in your box, you're going to want to get the full box. Um, and that one is capped at 100 and it's going to retail for $85. So that's item number two. So excited for that one too. All right, let's see if three is in here. I know one of the items is going to be missing. Oh, but it's not item number three because here it is. And it looks like another polish. Yay! <laughs> oh my goodness. I hope you're able to get it to Heidi. I really do. Hopefully they won't sell out. I mean, I'm hopefully they will sell out, but hopefully they won't sell out too quickly. There we go. So here's item number three. I love all of these cute little snowflake bags. <laughs> I love eggnog too. Have you had any yet um, this season? I have not had any yet, but I'd like to have some soon. Oh my goodness. Yes. Okay. Okay. <laughs> um, so when uh, I read that Lucy was inspired by changing colors and winter nights, winter days, lights and snow, I was like, all right, we're getting some silvery polishes. We're getting some blue polishes. And this one is like everything I dreamed and more. Oh my goodness. <gasps> Look at that, people. Shut your mouth, Lucy. Oh my gosh. This is crazy. It's so pretty. It's like the softest, iciest blue with scattered holographic and then a purple, like a very soft purple flash. Oh my gosh. 
<sighs> this is beautiful. Sorry. Didn't even tell you the name. It's called Snow On and Snow Forge. <laughs> That's a good name. Oh, my gosh. Oh, I love this one. It is so shiny, Heidi. It looks just like snow. So perfect. All right. Let's go on with Snow On and Snow Forge. <laughs> Oh my gosh, these names. I don't know what I love most, the names or the polishes. It's the polishes, but the names are pretty great. And oh my gosh, yes. This is why I'm such a fan of Bluebird Lacquer. Like there are very few indies where you get that kind of coverage in, in one coat and it's so packed with goodness. Oh, this is crazy. It's so pretty. And I love that we have polishes like this too. Like this one, honestly, I'd wear throughout the winter, but this one I would wear all winter. Um, it's perfect for January, for February, as well as December. It's just winter in a bottle. Gorgeous. So that is one coat. And I would say it's pretty much a one coater. Honestly, with this one, I would wear a second coat. Um, yeah. I think I'd wear a second coat because I see just a little bit of my nail, but I think with careful application, it could be a one coater. So that's one coat of snow on and snow forth. <laughs> I love the shift too, like the soft purple. Oh gosh, I agree. It's just absolutely gorgeous. I can't take my eyes off of it. All right, are you all ready for item number four? So pretty. Welcome, Vanessa. Glad you made it. And if you guys already haven't given this video a thumbs up, um, I would so appreciate that. It really helps out the channel and it helps Bluebird Lacquer out too. Um, so item number four, welcome, Kimberly. Looks like another polish. I can't wait to see what it looks like. And look at this bag. It's like a cute little pouch. Love it. Welcome, Michelle. Hey, Sarah. Oh my goodness, you all, I'm already like <laughs> thrilled with what we've gotten so far. <laughs> and we're only three items in. I do too, Felisa. The packaging is all so gorgeous. And <gasps> this looks really interesting. Look at those flakies. <gasps> I'm so excited. Yes, that's how I feel. Exo, make me horrololo. <laughs> I feel like it's Christmas today. Oh my goodness, you all. Look at that. Wow. I don't know if I have anything like this from Bluebird. Look at that. I don't know what. The base color is. I'm going to say it's like a charcoal gray, almost black. It might actually be a black. And then it's got so many reflective flakies in it. Oh my goodness. And they're so flashy. I wonder if this is one of the ones that was inspired by the changing colors of the season because the flakes remind me of the changing leaves and then the black is very wintry to me or the gray base. This one's called Rapper's Delight. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh. I'm so sorry, Michelle. I'm so sorry. Just think of everything you're going to have to look forward to. And personally, I love that um, Lucy does this and lets us have a sneak peek because some people love a surprise. Ooh, this base color. I can see it now that it's, do you see that on the brush? It's a blue base. Um, but I love that Lucy lets us see um, the polishes before we order because some people love a surprise. I am not those people. I am a planner. And if I'm going to spend that much money, I kind of want to know what I'm going to be getting. Um, not that we kind of don't know that it's going to be awesome because it's Bluebird. But still, you know what I mean? Um, so thank you, Lucy, for giving people the chance to, to see it. Oh, my gosh. This one's Rapper's Delight. So pretty. It's got a beautiful navy base with just a little bit of a purple lean. And then it's packed with those flakies that shift gold to copper to red. Oh my gosh. So pretty. 
golly, so gorgeous. That one is not a one coater because <laughs> it has a jelly base, but it's going to be opaque in two coats on my nail length. Maybe if you've got longer nails, you might need three, um, but holy smokes, that's beautiful. I'll go back in in a second um, after I finish this fourth polish and add a second coat to everything so we can see. But there is one coat of Rapper's Delight. Oh, I love that. I totally agree. It does look like a winter night sky. Oh, gosh. I could stare at that bottle all day. <laughs> I love it so much. All right. We're on to item number five. Ooh. This one, Daphne, is so pretty. I agree. It's item number two, I think. Snow on and on. Look at that. And we'll go back on, like I said, if you came in a little bit late, we'll go back on and add second coats to all of these. Oh my goodness. I am so excited. <laughs> so item number five looks like it's a Bath and Body product because mm -hmm. it's pretty, pretty large. Look at that. So excited. All right. Let's see. I feel like it's my... Christmas came early. Oh my gosh, Lucy, stop it. You all look at this scent. Look at it. Ah! <laughs> oh my gosh, I'm so excited. So this is the Zero Thirst Body Butter. The scent is apple pie feel filling, feeling, because I'm getting all the feelings. Lucy, stop it. Oh my gosh. Okay, I have to smell it. Oh, I'm like... <laughs> I'm like salivating a little bit. Oh my goodness. Stop it. Oh, that smells so good. Okay. It smells like apples. Shock, shocker, I know. I smell some cinnamon and maybe some clove. <sighs> and some maybe like bakery, like butter, crust. Oh gosh. Can I eat this, Lucy? Is that allowed? <laughs> oh my gosh, yes. And it's so nice and thick. Definitely perfect for winter time. Um, if you haven't used Bluebird Lacquer's um, Zero Thirst line, you're missing out. Um, I have completely used up the Zero Thirst body oil from the Halloween advent calendar. Completely used it up. There's none left. And when Lucy's shop opens, I'm buying two because, yeah, I'm obsessed. And I love the Zero Thirst lotion as well. So just so you can see what it looks like going on. It's nice and rich, but it's not too thick. It really melts into the skin well, and a little bit goes a long way because I got too much. <laughs> Don't eat it, Sarah. Oh, man. All right. <laughs> Um, it just melts into the skin, really soft and light, not at all sticky, um, very moisturizing. And I absolutely love the ingredients too. It has aloe and I love any lotion that has aloe in it. Um, it has glycerin and vitamin E, grapeseed oil, jojoba oil, shea butter, cocoa butter, um, grapefruit seed extract and fragrance. So lots of emollient ingredients that are going to help protect your skin from the cold winter winds. Yes, I definitely do pick up on the buttery scents, but I am getting a lot more of the apple and the um, clove and cinnamon. Like I get a lot of the spices in it. So, <sighs> sorry, I zoned out. Yeah, I'm a fan. <laughs> I know, can't smell a vision be a thing. Come on, come on. Your husband tasted your mango body butter? <laughs> Did he know what it was? Or I'm so curious. Oh, look at that, you all. So that actually dried down to almost like a satiny finish. It's not shiny at all, but it feels super moisturizing. That's awesome. I love that. I'm going to use it for my body, but I'm tempted to use it for my hands because I don't like having that greasy feeling on my skin during, uh, like at work. That feels really nice. Definitely a fan. It's filling no crust. <laughs> That's true. 
But I feel like I smell just a little bit of like butteriness. Maybe I'm wrong. Could be wrong. All right. One, two, three, four, five. Next is item number six, y'all. And it's a polish. <laughs> I would have laughed too, Sarah. Your husband sounds hilarious. <laughs> That's so funny. Ooh, and I like this color. It's a fun, grinchy green. Ooh. Look at that. I see some shifts in there. Let's open it up. And by the way, if you were wondering, well, I'll tell you after. Ah. <laughs> Museum. So I was laughing at the name. It says, but wait, there's myrrh. <laughs> and it's a, oh my goodness. There's lots of hollow in there and a purple to green shift. And look, it's a magnetic. Ooh. Oh, did you all see that? What? <laughs> that was like magic. Oh my gosh. I have to have it happen again. Shake it up in case you missed it. I'm going to magnetize it again. Are you ready? Are your eyes watching? This is crazy. Okay. Ah! <laughs> I'm so excited. I'm like a kid, a kid on Christmas morning. <gasps> that is insanity. Wow. I seriously don't know if I've ever had a um, magnetic polish that reactive to a magnet before. I'm like freaking out. <laughs> like magic okay so it starts off and it's purple green color and then you magnetize and it's like bright orange with a purple green magnetic line that is truly ma magic yes yes that's magic <gasps> oh my gosh yes I'm gasping too <laughs> that's amazing okay and it's called but wait there's myrrh all right I'm gonna apply it I'm going to apply it on the nail wheel to um, unmagnetize so we can see it that way as well. Oh, my goodness. It looks very opaque if you don't magnetize it. And let me zoom you all in a little bit. A little bit. There we go. Okay. I'm so excited. Really smooth application. Has like a curly base. This is magic. This is magic. <laughs> oh my goodness. Look, you all. What in the world? That is beautiful. Wow. Yeah, it's got like a green to gold to copper shifting base. And then the magnetic line is green to purple to blue. So it basically has like a whole rainbow of colors, pretty much. Bye, Heidi. Thank you for coming. <laughs> I love that you scared your husband. <laughs> That's crazy. Y'all, is that even real life? Okay, let me see what it looks like on its own. Because I'm curious. Although, honestly, I don't think I'll ever wear this one on its own. It's too beautiful magnetized. But just so we know, versatility is good too. So it's pretty on its own, nice and shifty. You get a lot. Actually, I can see some of the orange at extreme angles with this one unmagnetized, but you mostly get the purple and the green shift and some of the pretty hollow in here. It's like a hollow sparkle, <laughs> right? It's so pretty. <laughs> oh, like, look, even it's starting to spread out because I didn't hold my magnet very long, but look how pretty. Holy cannoli. So beautiful. <sighs> right? <laughs> We're our own little tribe, our own little world. All right. We're going to go back and add second coats to these. This one, frankly, it does not need a second coat, but we will. So that first one, if you tuned in a little bit late, is called I'm Elf Tot, and it's a cranberry russet linear holographic. Look at that. My goodness. And it was a one coater. This is what it looks like in one coat. Um, I would wear that in one coat. But 
Here's what it looks like if you built it up in two coats. It's about the same. <laughs> no color change. It was so beautiful on that first coat, but it did get a little bit more plump on that second coat. So there's two coats of I'm Elf Tot. So pretty. I love this kind of red shade. Oh, I can't wait to wear it. I might seriously put it on right after this, um, after this dream. And then the other polish item we opened next was called Snow On and Snow Forth. And it's a beautiful icy blue with scattered hollow flakes and a purple shift. Oh gosh, it's so pretty. And this one was pretty much opaque in one coat, but we're going to go in with a second and that will really even it out. It'll be perfect in two coats. Oh my goodness. And I don't even like colors like this on me. And this one is just divine. So there's two coats of Snow On and Snow Forth. Oh gosh. So sparkly. It's crazy. And then the next one is what I feel like is a really unique finish for Bluebird. And maybe I'm wrong. I just always think of them as having such incredible hollows, hollow flakies, linear hollows. Um, but they brought this beautiful shifty flaky polish to the box. And it's called Wrapper's Delight. <laughs> you know what? I don't know. I thinking wrappers like candy wrappers. But maybe it's wrappers like wrapping presents. I'm sure that's what it is, but it kind of reminds me of candy wrappers. <laughs> oh my gosh, you're so right. It's like blinding how reflective this one is. Ah, see, I learned new stuff. I didn't know that that was called the crystal method. I know that method, but I didn't know that that's what it was called. Oh my gosh. So this one is perfect in two coats. Look at those flakies and how they contrast against that blue base. <sighs> yep, 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 yep. That's a pretty polish. <laughs> I really like that one. So that's two coats of Wrapper's Delight. And then the magnetic one that might, I don't know. No, I take it back. I can't pick a favorite. <laughs> it's a tie. The magnetic that I was going to say is my favorite, but... I can't say that because I'm obsessed with all of them. <laughs> um, this one's called, but wait, there's myrrh. <laughs> oh my gosh. Yes, there's so much variety, Sarah. We get linear holographics, scattered holographic, shifting flakes, magnetics, lions and tigers and bears. <laughs> oh my. <laughs> so this one's going to be fully opaque on that second coat. But wait. There's myrrh. It's so, so pretty. Sugar Hill Gang. <laughs> yep. Oh my goodness. I'm holding it a little longer this time. Dun, dun, dun. All right. Ooh. Okay. Maybe I'll try it on the nail wheel just to see. That's really beautiful, though, with the cat eye magnet. Welcome, Bonnie. So there are two coats of, but wait, there's myrrh. And let's try it, although I'm not sure I'm very good at the, the crystal method. I will try it. <laughs> I usually do the cat eye magnet method, but I will try it. Let me see if... Yeah, we'll stick with this, this magnet. All right. I will try the crystal method to see. And y'all tell me if I'm doing it correct. I think you just push it on the sides. And it's supposed to kind of give it a velvety look. Is that right? And then you get to see the base color at certain angles. And then in the center, you get the magnetic pigment all pushed together. Wide side of the magnet. <laughs> well, I might have messed it up. 
I probably didn't do it fast enough. Eee! In which case, I'll try it again. Sorry. So here's what it looks like with whatever method I did, which is not the crystal method. <laughs> Take two. Let's try it the right way. So wide side of the magnet. Like this. Is that correct, Sarah? Like that direction. That is pretty that way, though. Very cool anyway. Thank you, Donatella. Making me feel better. <laughs> I think it looks cool. Honestly, these kind of polishes that are so pretty are a little bit hard to mess up. Okay. Take two. Okay. Super fast. Ooh, ooh, that's fun. It looks so pretty. I like seeing it just move around. <laughs> that is crazy. All right. So, and I'm sure it would look even more beautiful in um, more coats, but that's pretty crazy because on this side, I don't know if you can see it, but on the sides, you do get to see that magnetic pigment. And then in the center, it's just the orange. Gosh, that's gorgeous. So pretty. I'm obsessed. <laughs> I love this whole hand. <gasps> Look how pretty this one looks now that it's dried down some. Ah, <sighs> This box is bringing me joy. <laughs> All right, on to the next item. We have four more beautiful items to look at. I'm like not ready for it to be over. If you haven't already given this video a thumbs up and subscribed, I would really appreciate it. It's a big help to the channel. All right, item number seven. So I think I did not have item number six. No, I did. I did have item number six. So this is the next one, item number seven. And it looks like a body product as well. Oh my goodness. Be quiet. <laughs> is this really? Is this? Okay, hold on. I thought it was, had Bluebird's logo on it. I was like, are you kidding me? <laughs> it looks a lot like it though, with the little scarf and the hat. So cute. I love the packaging. Me too, Catherine. I'm always up to learn. Ooh, here's an item I have not tried. It's the Beak Buffer, <laughs> which is a really cute name. Um, it's a scrub, and it is in the scent Holiday Horchata. Ooh, it's got ingredients like sugar, so it's a sugar scrub, coconut oil, shea butter, sunflower oil, avocado oil, and flavor oil. And I love that it has all those oils because the sugar will exfoliate. Um, I bet it's for your hands. Um, Lucy, can you help us? <laughs> I bet it's for your hands, but maybe you could use it for both um, if you didn't have sensitivities to certain fragrances. Um, yeah, I love that it has all of those moisturizing ingredients because, oh, you're right. If it's beak, I bet it is a lip scrub. This is a big lip scrub. That's why I doubted it was because it's such a large scrub. Look at that. You're right. It says apply to lips. <laughs> Sorry, I'm sitting kind of far away from the item. It is a lip scrub. Mm. So it smells slightly sweet. To be honest, I am not that familiar with what horchata would smell like. But I think I would like it based on how this smells. <laughs> it's just slightly sweet. It's a very light, non aggressive scent. It's not super rich. It's not super strong. It's a very soft, mildly scented item. Hmm. Someone fill me in. What is horchata? What is that? I could do a Google search after the stream, but I'd love to know now if anyone knows. <laughs> um, but yeah, this item looks amazing. Mexican milk drink with sugar and cinnamon. Mmm then this is right on par because I feel like it's nice and light, like a milky drink, and it's got the sugar. 
maybe I smell just a hint of the cinnamon. Ooh, made from rice. Orchata. Thank you, Michelle. Good to know. So that is item number seven. Yummy. I can't wait to try it. And yeah, that is a huge container for uh, lip scrub. Most of the lip scrubs I've had have been half the size of that. That's a lot of scrub. <laughs> like that's going to last a really long time. Yay. And item number eight is an item that I'm missing. So we're going to go ahead and go to item number nine. Um, and if you joined a little late, I have all the details about the release of this box in the description box. Um, if you want the full polish or if you want the full advent, it's going to be $85. And if you want just the polishes, it'll be $65. Um, the full box is going to contain eight polishes and four bath and body products. And obviously, if you just get the polish box, it will only have the eight polish items. Um, they go on sale on Black Friday, November 26th at 5 p.m., and they are capped. There's only 100 full advents available and 70 polish only sets. I've got to get my uh, my hands on some horchata this season then. I wonder if it's rice water drink. I'm going to have to get some. Look how cute. Oh my gosh. I love the snowflake packaging. And I feel like a lot of brands are making their items a little less um, Christmassy this year. And a lot of brands are going more the direction of just winter festivities, New Year's, and, and winter in general. And I like that. Yes, 5 p.m. EST. Because I love the classic red and green colors, but I like stuff that I can wear into winter time too. So I like having the option to wear these items into January. Like how gorgeous are these going to be in January? Which by the way, I guess I should remove them. <laughs> um, but here is <laughs> the next one. The name is Time Waits for Snowman. <laughs> oh my gosh. And it is a fabulous multi-chrome. Holy cannoli. Yes, the variety. We get a Linear hollow, a scattered hollow, a shifting flake, a magnetic, and a multi ma I'm too excited. Multi-chrome with holographic flakes. And it's shifting purple to blue and lower lighting. I see it shift to copper and green and gold as well. All the shifts, people. All the shifts. Um, and by the way, while I'm removing my polish. While you're on the site picking up this beautiful advent, one of my favorite items from Bluebird, which you can see I'm almost out of. Look how much I've used. I've gone through, I think, three bottles of this. It's called Who's On First. It's their smoothing base coat, and it's what I have on my nails today underneath all my polishes, even on this hand. And look how shiny. No top coat. This is what it looks like all by itself. And I believe that base coat is $6. So highly recommend that. Like I said, I think this is my third bottle. I will be buying a fourth on Black Friday. Um, yeah, definitely love that. Love, love, love. <laughs> a bathroom break. And you know what? That's so uh, such a random time and, and date. I'm sure no one will ever catch on to. You're good. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Love it. Love it. Love it. All right, so let's go on with Time Waits for Snowman. I love this one. I love rich blues and purples in the winter time. And this one has both. So first coat of Time Waits for Snowman. It definitely has a jelly base, but lots of that shifty pigment. It's going to be a two-coater for me. I even got a little bit too much polish. There we go. And lots of those gorgeous hollow flakies as well. Really pretty in one coat. Ooh, I like that. So there's one coat of Time Waits for Snowman. <laughs> oh, man, Sarah, you'll be at work. That's right. That's right. You've told me that before. 
Yeah, I hope you can take a bathroom break. Or didn't your um, didn't someone buy it for you one time when you had to work? I hope they can do that again for you. Um, and then let's go ahead and jump into item number 10. And after we finish unboxing everything, we'll go back and add second coats. Oh my goodness. I love this. Thank you all so much for coming and spending time with me on Saturday. I hope you're having a great weekend and you're looking forward to this upcoming week. And the holidays coming up in general. Ooh. Sarah, this one's for you, green lover. <laughs> oh, this is a beautiful green and such an interesting one too. Not your classic. Ooh, this one is interesting. This is not your classic winter green. It's like got just a little bit of an olive lean to it, but it's quite deep in its base color. And it's got some beautiful gold flakies. Oh, that's lovely. I love green and gold together. It's called Your Presence is Requested. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh so pretty I love the flakies this one's like green and gold to me is just such a luxurious combination all right so let's go in with a coat of your presence is requested Ooh, this one's pretty and it's one that I would wear around the holidays, but I could see myself wearing this in fall too. It's got a jelly base and tons of those gold flakies. I think it's going to build up to opacity for me in two coats, but if you have a longer nail length than I do, you might need two coats. I mean, three coats. <laughs> yeah, I can see that. Lucy, that it might be darker here than it's showing up on camera. Let me see. Yeah, I would say so too. I think it'll deepen up nicely too on that second coat. It's beautiful. So that's your presence is requested. <laughs> oh my gosh. And you all, I am not ready for this last item. We've got one more item. Um, and there are two more items included in the box. Just so you know, there's one um, additional polish included in the box if you order and one additional bath and body product that I didn't share with you today just to keep some of the surprise going. Um, yes, but here's the final item I have to share with you. It's called item number 12. <laughs> I seriously was excited to say the name and then realized, Rachel, you haven't even unwrapped it. Oh my gosh, this is so exciting. Aw, look at the delicate silver hexes. So festive. Lucy, you did such an amazing job with this box. Seriously. Aww. Ah, deep, heavy size. That is a beautiful polish. I am so psyched. <laughs> perfect for winter. So perfect for winter. Oh my gosh. <laughs> you all, look at that. Whoa. It's called, can I get a what, what? <laughs> Because it's so bright, and I'm guessing it may be flash reflective. Let me see if I can turn on my flash on my phone. I cannot while this video is going. Hold up. Pause. Let me see. Yeah, that's pretty. Wow. Lucy, is it reflective? I think it is. But I do not want to say that it is and it not be. <laughs> is it flash reactive? It sure looks like it. I would say it is a really beautiful like sea foamy minty green with holographic sparkle and shimmer that shifts gold to orange or gold to copper. And I have nothing like it. Wow, that's crazy. Okay, we're going to go ahead and go ahead and put this on. I can't wait any longer. Yeah, you green lovers are in luck. 
two in this month's in this month's in this year's box. Wow. Yeah, I'm pretty sure this is flash reactive because it is too shiny. And I am actually gonna put on. No, I'll just not leave it on too long. I was gonna say I'm gonna put on a peel off base because um, if this is a reactive polish. They are a little bit challenging to remove. They kind of have a sandy, gritty texture. So I'll know in a second if it's flash reactive. But look at that coverage. Wow. So pretty. Oh, my goodness. Look at that. That's gorgeous. And there's with the flashlight. It, like, doesn't even look real. <laughs> That's so pretty. Yay. Ooh, I like that Kimberly. It is a good one to go in from winter to spring. So that's one coat of can I get a what what? <laughs> um, and it's really opaque on that first coat. That's going to be a two coater. It's packed with that pigment. Really pretty. All right, let's go in with first second coats of all of these beauties. So we have Time Waits for Snowman, the beautiful, shifty multi-chrome with the holographic flakes. Welcome, welcome. We are wrapping up the box. These are the last three polishes that'll be available, but I am going to save it on replay. And I turned on live chat replay. So hopefully it'll be, I know YouTube takes a while to get that going but hopefully you'll be able to see them quickly. Yep, just like I thought, this one is fully opaque in two coats. And my goodness, it is so shifty, you all. From blue to purple to black, it's got like a blackened base. And then in lower lighting, it shifts to orange and maybe a little bit of gold in there too. Sorry, I'm looking at all the shifts. <laughs> but that's Time Waits for Snowman. Oh gosh, so gorgeous. And then this also beautiful, deep pine green, I like that description, is your presence is requested. And it's got those gorgeous gold flakies and like a squishy jelly base. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Lucy, are you trying to make me a green lover? Because it's working. Look at that. <sighs> Take my breath away. Oh my gosh. Y'all, I'm melting. Yeah, that's beautiful. <laughs> Fully opaque in two coats. It might be opaque for everyone in two coats, even longer nails. Um, and that one is your presence is requested. So cute. And I love those gold flakies and such a unique base color. Come to the green side. I'm coming, Sarah. I'm on my way. <laughs> and then the last beautiful item, item number 12 is, can I get a what, what? <laughs> and it's a gorgeous reflective polish. And you're seeing a lot of that reflective here on camera because I do have some bright studio lighting. But here is some flashlight for you too to help bring out that reflective those reflective pigments these by the way if you haven't used a reflective pigment polish um, like Lucy said they are textured and difficult to remove they kind of have like a gritty sand texture and they almost dry down kind of like a pixie dust like they but like a very fine pixie dust um, and if you don't want that textured finish although some people like it um, you're going to want to pair it with a glitter smoothing top coat and I can do that for y'all in just a second this one's fully opaque in two coats just the softest most gentle minty green Ooh, hold on for some reason there we go I can see the green reflective pigments a lot better at this angle for some reason do you see them in there Whew. That is beautiful. Um, but this one is fully opaque in two coats. And it's stunning. Really unique color. And it, like I said, it has those green pigments. And then it also has an orange to gold shifting shimmer. 
and that really interesting soft greenish grayish base color. Look at those reflective pigments. There they are. They're so pretty. Ooh. It does look like jewels. I so agree with you. Yes, that is gorgeous. So pretty. Oh, gosh. And you can really see it in sunlight. I was a little nervous about these reflective pigments for a while because I was like, well, are you only going to be able to see the reflective pigment? Because how often do I have my nails under a flashlight? But you can see it in sunlight too. Um, it looked, in my opinion, just as beautiful in sunlight, the reflective polishes I've used as it does under like the studio lighting flashlight setting. So definitely something you can enjoy with or without a flashlight. <laughs> Um, but that's, can I get a what, what? <laughs> oh my goodness. So beautiful. So just a few reminders about the sale. It begins on Black Friday, which is November 26th at 5 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. You have two options. You can either purchase the entire box, um, which includes eight polishes and four Bath and Body products. That will be $85 shipped to the U.S. Or you can purchase just the polishes without the four Bath and Body products, and that will include eight polishes, and that will retail for $65 shipped in the U.S. If you're purchasing from Canada, you will have a $12 flat rate shipping free fee. And Lucy does apologize for the increase in the shipping costs. Um, and there will be other things releasing that day as well. There's going to be um, a November and December bird of the month polish, both of which I plan to pick up, um, as well as a Black Friday limited edition holographic polish. We'll also have um, Two additional items that I did not share with you today included in the box, which I have no idea what they are, um, but one is a bath and body product. One is a, sorry, looking for my apple pie filling. <laughs> one is a polish item. They are capped 100 full boxes with this plus one polish plus one bath and body product will be available there will be 100 full advents and then 70 polish only items sorry 70 polish only sets available and also <laughs> the packaging will be different on the final advent so yours may look a little different than mine just so you know but you will get all of these beautiful polishes. And if you get the full advent, you'll get these awesome bath and body items as well. Yay! I so appreciate you all um, joining me. So, yes, correct, Sarah. I believe, and um, Lucy, maybe you can confirm this. I believe the way it worked for the Halloween advent was if there was overpour available, then those would be available maybe in like a mystery. Is that right, um, Lucy? But other than that, the items will not be available individually. They should find a way to bottle up the rush. <laughs> I know, right? I would love that because this feeling is just so fantastic. They're absolutely beautiful. So beautiful. Um, and I think that is everything. Yeah. <laughs> um, and again, if you haven't given this video a thumbs up, I would so appreciate it. Um, and if you haven't already subscribed, you totally should. I have a lot of exciting videos coming up soon. I have a Bees Knees Lacquer Black Friday collection release coming next week. And then the week after that is polish pickup time. Woo -woo. <laughs> um, and then a collection from Wildflower Lacquer as well. Thank you all so much for joining me today. Um, this was a blast as usual. And I hope you have a wonderful rest of your weekend. A wonderful... I'm not sure on that, Kimberly. Because they are not marked on the bottle. Um, Lucy, do you know the polish, the size of the bottles? I'm sure you do. I don't know why I'm saying do you. <laughs> They're yours. Of course you know. <laughs> Um, do you know this? Are they 15, 12, 10 milliliter bottles? 
And yes, I will put up the replay later. As soon as this is done, I'll click save as replay. And I double check just for you, JJ. It says re live chat will be available. Yeah, it's a standard Bluebird size. There's one of their regular bottles for reference. And this was the polish of the month a few months ago. So, yeah, they're gorgeous. Yeah, I'm going to be getting those polishes of the month, those birds of the month. <laughs> um, but thank you all so, so much. I hope you have a wonderful weekend and a great Thanksgiving if you celebrate. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye.